judge here during the final phases of the count. Now two minutes and ten seconds and counting. The Atlas has um, control. The uh, Gina destruct system has been armed. We're at T-minus two minutes and counting. Liquid oxygen tanking has been secured. Those vents are closed. T-minus one minute, 46 seconds and counting. Jimmy Lawrence Control, T minus one minute, 38 seconds and counting. The ignition system has been on. We will be ready to turn on the sequencer at the 18 second mark in the countdown. Now one minute and 26 seconds and counting. Back at Lawrence Complex 19, astronauts John Young and Mike Collins getting reports on the uh, status of the countdown, but they will not be able to see the launch. T minus one minute, 13 seconds and counting. The launch vehicle now is completely on internal power as we come up toward the one minute mark. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60. The helium supply that pressurizes the vehicle is now on internal power. T minus 50 seconds and counting. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. For most of the remainder of the time, the launch vehicle test conductor in Complex 14 will be looking at a series of ready lights on his console. They will turn from amber to green as the automatic sequencer clicks off the various events. Now coming up on 25 seconds and counting. T-minus 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 19, 18. We have the automatic sequencer in. Now 15 seconds and counting. Be aiming toward ignition at four. T minus 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. And we've got a lift off and it looks like 46 seconds after the hour. and we have completed now a 20, 30 second period of steering, uh, which went very nicely. The altitude about 20 miles and we're about 25 miles downrange. Mark two minutes. Coming up on booster engine cutoff, and Flight Dynamics says everything looks good to him. Miko, two minutes, uh, 15 seconds into the flight. <laughs> 